you in an evening, everyone. Ah, let me just get comfortable. So I'm going to be sitting here for a while. Hey, Midori. Okay, so we're going straight into the moon route. Because, uh, that's our best option to get to upgrade to you guys some more. Um, so yeah, this is exactly where we left off last time. Not click Ethiopia or everything falls apart. So, this is what we're left with. It's kind of an unusual uh, layout. Oh, good enough to getting on with uh, tonight. Isn't going to be a super long stream. Because, uh, I need to get up at a reasonable time tomorrow to my mouse. But the, uh, route split isn't very long, so hopefully I can get through some or all of it tonight. How do you, well, OG's, yeah, um, OG's models have some really weird, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The outlining on them isn't very clear, or rather there should be some and there isn't because they're, they're 3D models, but they're drawn in like super deformed, recognizable on the map form, so they look kind of weird when you see them like that. I don't know if you heard that come through the mic. That was my cat who was sitting on the scratching post near me sneezing.
<laughs> yeah, that's a, something a bit important that you shouldn't be forgetting. If you think the uh, map models in this game are bad, though, um, I have the uh, like a PS2 copy of MX because I only played the portable version, and it has some like obvious problems. Uh, MX actually runs on the same engine as this game, um, because when they put this game together, they did like a dream team thing where they got the alpha writing staff together, but the graphics design team from MX, which was like really really well regarded. And uh, it's like even MX is even worse about the uh, on map graphics having like really poor definition. Crap, I forgot to switch uh, Katina and Thuku. It's all right, I will deal with it. Right, buddy? Okay. Also, doing the uh, this particular skill point is like a huge pain in the ass because the enemies have bean coats, and that alone makes them like obnoxiously difficult to deal with. Half of them are on the asteroid terrain too, which is like actually pretty rough. So.
And they all have like 7,000 HP. Jeez. Hmm. It shouldn't matter on stream. I'm just going to bump the size of the window up for me up a little bit. Ah, oh, what's the next 4 3 resolution up from 1024 by 768? I'm literally Googling it. Right. Yeah, that's a bit better. <laughs> my new screen runs in 1440p, so a lot of my stuff is like the wrong size. Did that do less damage than Russell's, like, shitty machine gun? Because that's what it looked like. That's right, I keep forgetting that it's melee attack isn't one to pre-range in this game. Oh right, this one is on terrain, that's why I did way less damage. Oh, that's right, they do energy drain. That's frustrating. In like a better scenario, I could um, try and set up so that it could use its map weapon, but I think I'm gonna have to let that go on this one. 
I'm not really trying super hard for skill points, but like it's fun to aim for them. Wow, okay, they just took all of his energy. Holy crap. I don't know if you went back and watched the VOD, but the uh, new um, mission that has the uh, Grungas Type 1 Unit 2 in it, uh, Sugumi has unique dialogue for using Sonic Breaker where she's not at all prepared for it to accelerate and is like, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, I need to actually put weapons on the Arblade. I kind of forgot about that. Got a race team. As usual, what the game does and doesn't classify as beam weapons never fails to confuse me. Like, this doesn't count as a beam weapon. I don't think she's really the best role model for you, Russell. I may actually get the skill point after all, because you only have to defeat all the enemies within three turns, and this is only the second enemy phase.
Did I reach too close? Oh, I ran out of ammo. Okay. That wasn't very clever of me. Um, it's alright, I'll manage. I really wish that they'd just give Katina and Russell a combo attack with their guest fence already. This is a problem. I think the fact that they stole all of the Jigen's energy is going to stop me from uh, getting the skill point, depending on. Oh, that one attacked for you, so I may yet manage. There we go. That was more luck than skill, though. What do you mean that place? You mean this place? You're here. <laughs> like you are literally here. <laughs> That's not the kind of thing that you say that place about. I mean, in Japanese, you might say Anobasho rather than Konobasho, but like <laughs> in English, you would say this place. <laughs> Come on. Even Sonobasho, since you're referring to the place that Sean was referring to. I really wish that they'd knock it off with the energy drain attacks. Why did energy drain get capitalized by my... Okay, that was weird. Because, like, it, um, part of its thing is that it, like, uses, um, like, uh, Google's database to figure out how it should be writing things. So it gets, like, proper nouns and stuff right. But 
the only thing that I can think of that actually uses that as a proper noun is like Final Fantasy XIV. Also, this is significantly rougher than it was in GBA, I think because of the energy drain attacks being everywhere. Fortunately, these things are actually pretty weak. Um, do I get I to move over here? And Excella needs to move. Which may be difficult. Um, hope she has just enough to get out of the way. Leona by accident, I forgot that she was actually there because of the color. The uh, Titan's colors caused it to camouflage really nicely against space. Six, she gets a CGI intro and everything. Alchemy's theme benefited so much from becoming um, a PS2 audio track because it's different from the uh, one that was used in Impact. particularly fond of the creepy sampled children laughing sound. Um, hopefully she won't like outright kill Excellon. <laughs> but that is a distinct possibility because she hits really hard. Okay, that one was a special weapon. All of her special weapons have like, um, weird German names and shit, so it's hard to tell. Okay, so... Yes, spirits disabled and SP drain like great, thanks. Wow. And she's insanely stacked and has S ranks. You know, like for everything? Jeez. Wow. <laughs> 
I probably didn't pay much attention to this on GBA when I was like way less experienced with the game, but holy crap, she's stacked. Alright, um, your skirt's at. Yeah, it's good enough. Which is annoying because I wanted to use, uh. Yeah, she's nearly impossible to hit, so um, I better not waste him doing that. I'll use this instead because this shouldn't be stopped by Pallet Glock. Persona Lich Kite also like, benefited greatly from the PS2 animation bump, but since I've been playing like OGs 2 and Moon Dwellers, it's, uh, <laughs> it feels like a bit of a downgrade in this game because even though she's barely available in those games, she gets this huge animation bump and looks amazing. Half my squad can barely even attack. <laughs> I don't trust that that won't kill Katina outright since her defensive stats are garbage. Oh, she doesn't even get to talk to Alpha Me. Huh? Where the fuck did you get Elsa from, Google? Yeah, that would have killed her. Okay, I'm glad that I got scared. OG's 2 again now. Maybe I'll do that after I'm done with this. Cause actually, I've never actually finished Gaiden. Like, I got to the final boss and then got stonewalled, so like... I should probably play it again since it's been almost 15 years since I actually like seriously attempted it on a computer that can actually run it I should stress um because uh the um original Sony PC that I was using like lagged horrendously on the map screen and was super slow and I played the entire game like that
can move Talon back over here because I'm really not convinced that she'll actually survive the counterattack. So you either have to survive for four turns or reduce Alphamy to below 67,500 HP. Uh, which is a bit of an ask since she has at least a hundred thousand. Or is it what's the cutoff on this one? Is it 80k? I think it's a hundred K. Rip. But uh, you do get pretty good experience from like, fighting with us, so I think it's worth the effort. Maybe the bonus from the stone circle, I think this will work out of heavy energy. Amazing. Twenty percent of about two thousand is about four hundred. So I think this will be fine. Okay, her morale stacked the damage up way faster than I thought it was going to. Oh, I know why. I forgot to um, account for the fact that uh, she... She had her attack reduced last turn by Weapon Breaker on the Jigen, which I totally forgot about. But I think we're gonna have to hunt, like, I'm just gonna fall back and hunt her down at this point. There's not much point in uh, trying too hard about it. I'm sure to move Russell over there so that she doesn't decide to use a math weapon. Okay, this should work a bit better. It's not often that I actually get to use the Ox Tongue W because normally by the time she can use it, uh, you'd rather be doing Rampage Ghost, so this is kind of a rare opportunity. Right, I think I'll try and avoid using Oxygen W in the future then, if that's how they're going to translate that.
Okay, that was good though. Okay, he nearly dies. Okay, well, sure, the line here isn't really wrong, but it's like really malformed as an English sentence. Like, you wouldn't really say it like that. Even if you were trying to be, like, formal or poetic, it's, like, not really something that a native English speaker would say. I mean, in English, you could leave out the space bit entirely and just be like, it seems the service has its own issues, because then the implication there is that because you're saying its own, you're separating it from the other thing you were talking about. Since we've already spent the first paragraph of this talking about space's issues, it's like, you don't really need to clarify that. In Japanese, it was probably more like, um, it seems the Earth and space both have their own issues or something like that. But it's an excellent example of like an amateur translation. Or not even, how do I put this? Of amateur writing generally. I, at a guess, I would say that whoever wrote that, probably English isn't their first language or they're American. So English isn't their first language. Um, and that's how we ended up in that kind of situation. Yes. <laughs> Am I wrong? Hey, how's it going? You're not bad. We muddled through the first stage on the moon route split.
aside from the uh, last stage on the split, which has a really obnoxious, like, secret condition, the first of those is probably the hardest, because the rest are, like, primarily event stages. <laughs> How in what? You left the word out there, guys. <laughs> I'm actually less mad about stuff like this because, like, the script is fucking huge, so there's going to be errors like this, kind of inevitably. Um... Especially with an amateur project where there's not really enough, like, oversight and editing going on. Um, so it's a symptom of that to be sure, but given how huge the script is, like, you're going to have typos and stuff like this, so I'm not super mad about this one. I think it's more likely that the translators had an incomplete thought. This, uh, I mean, you've heard me bitching about this before, but, um, this, uh, localization patch, not translation patch, you can't really call it that because it's not really a translation, um, in addition to just not being very good, the, uh, team is, like, super obnoxious about any kind of criticism. And so, for example, when they got a negative review on the patch page regarding the, like, bad quality of the translation, they basically reverse review bombed the page with positive reviews from people in their Discord to try and drown it out. And then we're, like, uh, you know, like, you know, finding things that people were complaining about and being like, ha ha ha, people are so stupid in their Discord, so I don't have much respect for it. Yeah, it's, um, the biggest issue that it has is that the official localizations for these games have a very similar tone where they're frequently either outright incorrect or making stuff up. And it really bothers me that that's not only the official tone, but it's the way that, like, the fan localizations are going, especially because, like, a stated goal for this group was that they were, like, Oh, the GBA translations are garbage, so we're gonna do better. And then they used a bunch of stuff from the GBA translations verbatim that was stuff that, like, should have been fixed. And have just been, like, generally worse quality than the GBA translations. So, uh, if you're going to shit talk the official localization, you need to be better than it, and this isn't.
Rip. <laughs> Just walked right past her. Hang on. Okay, there's no way that the Dan Cougar Nova reference was in the original text. Because this game came out a month before. No, one month after Dan Cougar Nova began airing. And by that point, the script would have been well and truly finalized. So that was obviously a reference to something else that they changed. That's a lot of Cosmo Lions. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. Have a good one. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, I now have the R blade sitting here without a pilot. Um, how chunky is it though? 1260 versus 1100. Okay, it's actually a better fit for Tsuku than this guest fit is. And I'll move Russell. Actually, wait, hold on. Why does this one have more health? Okay, I guess it just does. Get the shotgun off it and uh, load Russell up a bit, I think. I might just stick this on it as well to give it a little more oomph at range. That should be fine. Um, actually, I should double check what's on the R1 as well. If I can, no, I can't. Despite how this looks, this is like mostly a um, straight up fighting mission. Like there's some events, but and the uh, Huyu Kai is stuck where it is, but it shouldn't like be too difficult to just run up and kill everything.
He said random shoot in English. It was already in English, you. <laughs> I promise I'm trying to, like, not constantly be dunking on it, but it's not making it easy. Like, it's one thing if it's a loan word that means something else, like uh, my pace or synth, for example, but I know, official ones do it too, it's insane. Like, it makes sense if it's a loan word or something, but in that case, he's like using it as a proper noun, like it's an attack name, like, come on. Like, you left a bunch of stuff in Romaji because it was an attack name, you didn't feel the need to, like, like, why, why did you, like, over-translate the stuff that was already in English that was an attack name? I'd actually be really curious to hear... I mean, I not like they're ever going to talk to me. Um, since they made that fairly clear, thanks to my little spy in their Discord. But, um... I'd be really interested to know, like, what made them decide to do that. It was probably just a whim, and there was no deeper reason behind it, but, like, if there was, I'd be interested to hear it. Because, like, generally speaking, people don't do things because they think they're a bad idea, so, like, if any thought went into it, which doesn't seem likely, then... Presumably, there was, like, some reason that made them go, oh, you know, we should do this. And, like, either it came from someone up high enough in the pecking order that they couldn't complain, or they had what they thought was a good reason. And if they did, I'd be interested to know what that was. a lot of damage. The melee stat isn't even good. Like... And it's not terrible, but it's noticeably worse. Oh, she has attacker! That's why. Okay. It's actually really lame that arguably the best use for Leona in this game is uh, as the pilot of the Wild Warrior L because she's the only uh, unit that has um, Fury that doesn't have like a better uh, unit to use like Excellen or uh, Ratzel or Raya. But like her actual combat ability is really good because she has gorgeously good stats and she has attacker by default. And like you basically can't be a bad unit if that's the case.
Oh, Blank Telephone is straight up free in this game, okay. I don't remember if it was in GBA. Something else that's really weird is that they're like really indecisive about whether they're going to translate attack yells or like write something else instead. So like, if it was like aura aura aura, which is like pretty normal, I <laughs> like how Google recognizes that. Thanks, Jojo. Uh, then they usually write something else, but in that case they just wrote it out phonetically and it's like super inconsistent about which they decide to do. Really? It lived? That wasn't a dynamic kill? Okay. Rai's not here, buddy. Okay, what were you saying Ashley said there was I've already seen through your, your attack, which is like a Fist of the North Star thing. I mean, it's been used in everything, but it's like famously used in Fist of the North Star, so they missed a reference because they mangled the quote when they tried to translate it. Yeah, does it hit all of them with... Oh, no it doesn't because it's not high enough around yet. And I think they changed it in this game so that Katina doesn't... Like from OG1 to OG2 changed it so that she doesn't get drives super early. That would kill. Oh, that's all right. That did 4,801 damage, and it had 4,800 HP. <laughs> oh wow, they spawn all the way over here.
the ring is like absurdly good. Um, her stats are kind of middle of the road, except that her skill and accuracy and evasion are like absurdly high, and she has balanced offense, but she has like, concentrate and predict and hit and run. The and she has a great twin spirit and great terrain ratings. The downside is that her availability sucks. Uh, you get her in the second half of this game, which is the only time that she's playable long term. And uh, her morale gains suck. If they, I think they're still bad in this game. Let me double check. Yeah, she has normal types, so she only gets morale when she's damaged, when she shoots down an enemy, or when an enemy is shot down. Um, so her morale tends to rise very slowly. One of the main reasons to pick the Ash Ritter, um, not Ash Ritter, Ash Saver, is that um, it's one of the few mechs in the game that's like actually a good fit for her. She does get drive later on, which helps deal with the morale issue, but like... Drive is really expensive, and the Ash Saver's best weapon is only 110 morale, so like, by using it, but you can basically avoid paying the SP tax on getting her into the fight. I will be going out of my way to be using her regardless, though, because she's like my favorite character in this game, and this is the only game where you can use her. Well... Technically, she can show up for one stage in OG1 on Ryusei's route, but only if you fuck up. So... Oh, these are the barrel lines that have the uh, beam cannons that they can use after moving. That's cool. Now, can you use your... Yes. Okay, so <laughs> That was with Valor too. I gotta try and do something about that. I should probably spend some time upgrading that weapon specifically. That reminds me, you know, your melee type, okay. Hopefully, this will hit and I just don't have to worry about it, but we'll see. All right, Suri literally only has one dialogue chain for the Outblade, which is weird because it's like one of the most common places to put him. But um, I guess maybe not in Japan, so I didn't really worry about it too much.
Ring is like 100% held back by a mech on this stage. Um. Yeah. <laughs> And then again, like the next time you get her, she's using the Hukabine, the original Hukabine. But uh, it's like really lightly armed and its main weapon requires 130 morale, so it's like not a great pick. Is this ammo based? It is, so I can just go ham with it. Okay. Um, no, use this one. Hmm. The Jigan one shots these things with its finishes, though, so I think I can roll in it. Oh! I did not mean to skip that. Where are you? Over here. Right. Do you have it? No, I know you don't. Bajidongi. This is Ryan Shit's World too, or at least it's the one that's painted yellow, as opposed to Rada's one, which is white. And I'm really not sure if that's just an oversight in this game. Because uh, when she gets her um, Death Fenced Mark II custom later, uh, one of its packs is basically meant to emulate the Shit's World, and hers is painted white again. So it's like kind of weird that she's using the yellow Shit's World feel. To move a little further over. Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry, I hope that didn't come through too loudly. Alright, this will have to do. Yeah, 
Not what she said at all. Not even a little bit. Right, it was evading. I was like, why is Russell's accuracy so bad? You know, it shouldn't be that bad. Oh, and that's why Rain was getting blown up. I thought she was in the crater, which she wasn't, and uh That explains I mean even then it was like less than fifty percent to hit most of the time. Speaking of things that benefited from the animation bump, the uh, Wild Falcon really did. Kill it, 
seriously, this animation is so good. It looks even better in OGs 2 and Moon Dwellers, where it's like the screen is less cluttered because they had the animation style worked out better. And the higher resolution means like higher resolution for the cutting artworks and stuff. Here we go. If you like the inspector's theme, because it is really good, I strongly suggest not showing up to the stream where I do the secret, because like you have to listen to it for like three hours and it will drive you up the wall. Yeah, so do I, it's just that I've had to do the stage, like, multiple times, and so it's hard for me to really enjoy it now. <laughs> Like, it's good, it's just after you do the Inspector's Secret several times, you kind of don't like it anymore. Ow! That was through a barrier and everything, jeez. Selling is just short of having enough SP.
so that I can have um, Ring and Rada join up and cast Hope, which will get her enough. Mind block. What does that even work on? So, fill down six minutes. Okay, so chap grenade should work then. Okay, I can clean with it. the mashup of this for the uh, secret Flandre boss fight in Fantasy Maiden Wars that is uh, Hunt for the Cute Guest which is a mashup between this and UNO and was her is like insanely good. Okay, I guess that didn't work because it's I, it's not showing as having. Oh no, it did it did stick. Okay, I just wasn't reading it properly. Ah, she shot the energy by like an itty bitty bit, of course. This is another one where you can win just by surviving for 5 turns, but you only have to reduce him to 80,000- uh, 80% HP, which is not too bad. So I think I'll manage. Assuming I can actually hit him. Like, and his accuracy is still amazing even after it got nerfed by the chap grenade. Incidentally, I'm also a big fan of the Gal Gal, the uh, dragon mech thing here, because it's like pile bunker claw things that have the rocket assembly on the back end are just really cool. <laughs> yeah, does it have a universe? Yeah.
I better wait on that one. And I should have checked ranges before I uh, passed focus, but whatever. So that was almost correct, except that the ragtag group thing wasn't really there. He does use Kisamura, which is like a really rude way of referring to a group, but the focus was more like, show me what you can do, like that was the focus of the sentence. So it feels kind of jarring to be like, show me what your ragtag group can do. And even then, like, ragtag isn't really rude enough to convey the use of Kisamura, so it's like... Like, why can you not... Oh, did you get stunned? Unbelievable. Okay. But you don't have HP Ranger. Oh! He's on the moon terrain. So he's just gonna regenerate 20% HP every turn. Okay, I literally cannot beat him down far enough. However, I can still like attack him to like grind on him for experience. In that case, all she said was, Alright, let's go kaiju hunting. Goblin Slayer means that I'll recognize like X Taiji in just about anything. We can do some damage even if it's not great. Thanks to the fact that the road here counts as like Luna facility terrain, I like I just cannot shift him.
増進ばかりを肥大化させた多頭生物どもめ。そんなに消されたいか。受けよ、アイアンクロー。Uh, I should have checked what these were, but they're not that good in this case. Hopefully this won't cause Leona to get clipped and die, but it's totally possible that it will. <laughs> Uh, am I getting that? Maybe if I can do it all in one turn. Come and wrestle and show me what you can do. Like in this case, changing it to close combat is good because in fight is a loan word that is like derived from boxing, but it refers to any kind of close quarters combat. So in that case, like swapping it was good, but it's really weird when they translate other stuff like random shoot, which is meant to be an attack name, as if it was a loan word. <laughs> he took like one quarter as much damage as the Jigen did. Now, are you two gonna leave if I try this? I'm pretty sure you don't need to stay alive, right? Yeah, okay, so if something bad happens, it's actually not a big deal. I have no memory of that cut in, that's actually really cool. Oh, Rada clipped him this time. Not quite enough.
Yeah, and he just regenerated HP, so it's like... No, that's the end of that. I really thought that I might be able to knock him down a bit. So, something about this game is that it relies really heavily on this kind of stage where it's like you have a time limit to reduce the enemy's HP or else the stage just ends, like, automatically. Uh, and then on stage, I can actually find the exact stage. Um... Yeah, I think it's stage 29 is the first time it happens. Yeah, um, Axel shows up in the soul gain and you have to actually reduce his HP. You can't just wait it out. And uh, on my first playthrough, I game over there because I was expecting to be able to wait him out and that just wasn't the case. Oh, everyone gets event locked, don't they? Yep, okay, um... I guess putting her in the R blade will do for now. Because it's a lot, since it's a lot faster, but it's also got better armor, it's more suitable for her. Um, although her, like, um... Oh, her melee stat is actually better than her range stat, okay. That was an interesting noise. Hold on. Oh, I see. I was wondering what that was, but it was my parents putting the cats away. In, um, OG's 2, her offensive stats are more balanced. Her range stat is still quite good, though. So. Either way, um, let's take this off there. Yep. Okay, you should probably get an additional uh, moving weapon. So, this will be it. An extra divine arm would be really nice, but since Leona's coming, I 
don't really have an excuse to uh, take it off and put it on the other one. Got a sniper option, we have the booster rifle, so that's fine. Um, I might steal one of the rectangular launches. Uh, this one, no, because I'm gonna have to give that back on the next turn. This one, so that Excellon has an option that isn't like the Oxide Launcher B or something. Because I noticed that what was happening is that she can really easily get into situations where it's like it should be fine and then she gets nuked because, um... Her, uh, like she's used up all of her attacks on nuke units and so on. Uh, did I miss my chance? To, I missed my chance, Cocker. Well, I upgraded the Who You Had a bit, so I'll just have to deal with it, I guess. Upgrade you a bit, because I have plans on using you for, like, most of the game. Because you're really good. And the R1 as well. Another. Um, oh, and pilots, because most of... Oh, yeah. Okay, I've left this a bit too long. Between them, like reducing the costs of a bunch of things and having it so that skill points give you PP, it's so much easier to just start putting SP regen on everyone, like right away. Oh, this gets a CG. Nice. Not much of one, but still. That's a lot of round grazes. The skill point for this map, by the way, is to keep all of the friendly lions alive, and I'm just, like, not even going to think about it.
Well, these things are really chunky. Like really chunky. Eighty five hundred HP is kind of a lot. But actually, there was more like, you know, that's the SRX team. There's no like, you know, Jitsuroku power or anything that you would expect to be translated as. Like, this is what they can do, so, you tried. Oh, wait, they're stacked up. Awesome. Okay, that was well done. But, like, the flashes of brilliance in the translation actually make it more annoying, not less annoying. <laughs> Because it's like, if you can be this good right now, why can't you be this good all the time? Enough, no way. Yeah, okay. I had a moment there where I was like, is it gonna one shot the land land? But of course not. It's honestly not worth, like, shooting back at these because the Gigalite Blaster is so incredibly energy inefficient. It's better to just defend and let Scoot's morale go up as a result. Oh, nice shooting, way.
One day, Lucky will proc. But not today, apparently. Oh, well done. The lion types are almost completely useless, but sometimes they get lucky. I don't know if you have dialogue for this. I don't often see Lyra's generic weapon dialogue. Especially since later in the game she gets a uh, unique mech. Which is actually a huge change from the GBA version. Let's move you over here, because I'm going to have Tsuku move and use his map attack. everything and none of my guys are in the way. Alright, this'll do. Okay. Not a spectacular result, but it didn't really need to be. made the mistake of stacking it. Actually, can I... Yeah, Katina can probably do that on her own by using this. However, I'm scared that that will get her killed, so I might just trust again. <laughs> I can't stress enough how fragile Katina actually is. There's a reason that I usually put her in the Jigen, and she even takes big damage in that. But since it's basically just a giant block of armor and it has a really good barrier, it really makes up for the defensive stats sucking. And like, even then, I usually put the uh, one copy of the high pajama that you get on her so that she can just avoid attacks, because even with the Jigen, she just takes too much damage. Is this gonna work? Like, is this gonna do 4,000 damage? Yeah, not even close. That was a lot of damage, holy crap. Hard mode is really starting to feel like it. Not like EX hard, but because I generally aim for skill points because of the PP bonus and because I think it's more fun. Uh, the game is on hard mode at the moment. Oh yeah, the, uh, this um, map name is mistranslated as well. They left off an entire clause. It's more like God of the Sword appears, because it ends in like Myra.
fucking like look at this battle spirit style translation right here. So you just leave kanji out randomly? <laughs> or you use entirely the wrong kanji and pretend that it's fine? I actually want to make sure that the rhinoceros is um, not on terrain before I start shooting at it. Because if it is on terrain that heals it, then I need to like do as much damage as possible in one turn. I don't think that'll kill- Whoa! Okay, I was wrong. That did a lot of damage. No, it's only getting an evasion bonus, so let's see if it can do the work. I can show you on the wiki, right? Because the uh, wiki, one of the uh, people who worked on the translations is, and in fact a few people actually are like staff on the Akarasu wiki, so this is how it's written out on the wiki, and you can see that they just ignored like literally half of the title because this part is the god of the sword part, and then this part is the verb part that tells you what they're doing, so it's like God of the Sword appears, not just God of the Sword. Can you hit? You could with snipe, but I don't really want to spend snipe on that. So a side effect of having to keep the lions alive is that I also need to like clean up the uh, boss before the lions can get close to it. Because if I don't, then they'll just like suicide into it. I keep forgetting that Excella doesn't have support attack, because you would normally expect a character like her to have support attack and she just doesn't. It's very strange.
Yeah, I think that um, Usne should be able to kill with this, given how top down his morale is and the fact that this does a lot of damage. Nice. Oh god, it's finally here. That's a lot of guys. Adpost movement is a really interesting effect for a bullet though. I should seriously consider what I can do with that. This is like physically painful to read. Oh, it's even worse than I thought. It's not Slajelma, it's Slajelma. It's, oh my fucking god. And they're like, oh, it should be combined with Blade, so it's meant to be like Slajelma or something. Jesus fucking Christ.
Do I get my full list back yet? No, not yet. All right. Um, I should probably do some weapon upgrading as well. Oh, nice. It came pre-upgraded. Okay, well, I'll just bump it up a little bit further then. What was the new stuff I got? I don't know. Right. I can swap pilots around now. There we go. Right, let's get in one more stage before bed, which is the end of the uh, route split. This stage also has a really painful secret, so I have to shoot down Echidna, or force her to retreat, and then move Lamia to the spot that she was on when she retreated. But the game won't tell you if you did it right, so... Right, I actually forgot that Orca shows up on this stage, so I need to avoid her as much as possible.
panic. <laughs> You tried? I can't believe that worked. Alright, um, are you actually gonna move? You're probably just gonna run straight away, but I can move pretty much straight into the group, I think. One, two, three. I can actually move up far enough there to get a twin attack, but I don't think that's a good idea because I sincerely doubt. Yeah, these guys are gonna be on like evade duty, so if I try and start pushing in with the shotgun, it's gonna turn out pretty badly. Uh, I hate it when the enemy has, like, scripted behavior. It's r always really frustrating to deal with. I don't think it's a bad thing, it's just, like, really difficult to deal with. Because you can end up behind the curve very quickly. That should be enough to start with, because I kind of walled them off from the Shurgana. Oh my god, Sopresas are so hard to hit. I really wish they gave you one, it'd be kind of amazing. I, uh, I shouldn't have done that, but I, like, pressed the buttons too quickly, I guess.
Fortunately, with a little bit of effort, this shouldn't go too badly. Play the animation for this one. I use its attack so rarely that uh, we might as well get a look while we can. I'm getting there slowly but surely. Nice shot, you say? That one was evading and everything. Actually, I think they're all still set to. Oh, okay, they're just going to evade on my turn and then attack on his. That's really obnoxious. <laughs> Fortunately, these kind of go away later in the game, which means that the late game tends to be easier than the early game, simply because you aren't having to deal with, like, sore presence constantly. And they are seriously just so awful. Am I gonna lose the Shiragane? No, okay, one of them is just out of range. That was very nearly fatal, though. If this map looks familiar, it's because it's the same map that the game, that the first stage with Lamia took place on. Oh, these ones, these ones shoot back. Okay, that's interesting. Um... Okay. I guess I need to just keep moving with the, uh, Shiragane.
So instead of approaching, I'll fall back and um, play defense, basically. How far can you move? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, yeah. I think that's the only one that can get him this turn. No, that one can as well, but that's it. So I can heal him next turn and then play defense around the Shuragana. I think that will be okay. I forgot to cast Trust on the Shiragane, so it's probably going to die really messily in a moment. I mean, like, there's no way that the Sorpresses favor my units over the Shiragane, right? is obviously a mistake. I've never been very good at maps like this. Hey, how's it going? I am probably... Yep, there we go. I am failing the stage for the second time in a row because I'm really shit at moving defense maps like this. This time I'm going to turn them into like a wall, but do it here-ish should be good. This should slow them down from like 
Uh, maybe I needed to move in a little bit closer so they couldn't just give throw and punch. And I need to remember to heal the Shirogami next turn. This might give me an early lead. Oh, it takes so much damage. It's ridiculous how much damage these do. Like, ah! I could see if if they if it wasn't that it was a beam weapon, I could like seriously mess up the game if it would give you a surprise. Let's uh, heal you a second time, shall we? And then you can stay here. Actually, having gone out of my way to cast Bullseye, why don't I do some proper damage to these? Ones at the back. And you. I can fly with and back off on. Actually, you have Bullseye now, because I fucked up this stage so much that you leveled up. Then I'll have you head down here. Okay. Hopefully this time I don't manage to lose the stage, like, on turn two. Which is what has been happening. After you get through this initial ambush, the stage doesn't get much easier either, because it begins throwing, like, Get Fence Mark... Uh, just, like, customize Guest Fence Mark 2s at you, and, uh... And, like, Oka shows up in the R9s, and it's incredibly awful. God damn it! Alright, I'm gonna spend some of this cash. Normally I try and avoid spending cash to clear a level, but I don't have much choice in the matter this time. Okay, I still think the basic idea there is a good one. I just need to, like, wall off a little bit closer to where I started, I think. So I'll put you there. And then you can move over here. Put you over here. And you can go over here next to him. Actually, I'll put you there so that nothing can get through. And you can come over here. And I'll send Excellent on ahead because she has... One, two, three, four, five, six. She has the longest range all weapons, so if I move her this far back, it's not going to matter next turn. I 
can't believe they still got to attack it twice after I had to wall it off. So obviously if I want to wall it off, I've got to do so like much more aggressively and closer to them. But if I do that, then it's much harder to get into position to fight the second wave of reinforcements. Maybe from back here, I think. Why did I do that? That was really dumb. This isn't like a perfect wall off, but it should mess them up when they try to like get in. Um, and I, ah, I'm gonna lose the Shiragane again because I forgot to um, heal it twice. Seriously, why is this map so fucking hard? <laughs> Like if any of my units dies, like that's it. And that's how we ended up in this situation. That's a big raid. Hey, thank you so much. That's really awesome of you. You showed up just in time for me to get wrecked by the game. Again. Stream, do not start picnicking right now. I think now is the worst time to start picnicking. Okay, here we go again. Let's take a different tack this time. original generation so instead of it being a crossover with like multiple anime series they took all of the original units from their other crossover um series and made them into their own crossover series so it's all original characters <laughs> super robot wars has kind of a complicated history so this is a tac rpg that was made um Originally on the Game Boy Advance, 